Botswana Tourism made the sustainable tourism policy a priority for our organization because we realized the benefit of maintaining a last Eden whereby the people and the wildlife work together and create value. By doing that, you both protect the land, you protect the resource, but you also protect the natural indigenous people that live there. Botswana Tourism gets asked, how do you balance human-wildlife conflict? And the very starting point is, how do you balance human-wildlife coexistence? If it's a conflict, it can never work. You can't have sustainable tourism and wildlife conservation if it's not supported and bought in by the grassroots. In the 60s, the, the tribal chiefs were given the option. Uh, do they want to go high impact, high volume commercial tourism? Or do they want to go for high cost, low impact, low volume ecotourism? And they had the amazing foresight uh, way back then to choose the latter, so where most of Africa was trying to develop as quickly as possible and build the economies as quickly as possible. But they said they want to keep this cultural and uh, natural heritage for generations to come. One of the interesting projects we're doing is the creation of a land bank where all tourism land that's owned by the country has been placed under the management of Botswana Tourism Organization. And in that way you can ensure that everything you do protects the resources and it's led by a management plan. It's not haphazard. It means that tourism is managed by the country for the country. Northern Botswana holds a third of the world's remaining elephant population. And that in itself is an amazing success story. You know, the, the government has uh, been extremely protective over the wildlife resources and has devoted a lot of resource into anti-poaching, at the same time engaging communities into the conservation and tourism value chain. BTO has transformed the lives of people within tourism in so many different ways. You do this by bringing the local people together with the tourists. That's the way you involve communities and that's how you create their value.